Well, we've all heard about the kindness of strangers, sometimes even experienced it ourselves, but odds are it doesn't come close to what's happened to an Ottawa woman. She needs a life-saving stem cell transplant. It's only available in the U.S., and it's expensive. And now someone she doesn't even know has come to her rescue with an unbelievably generous gift. Shirley Engel has her story. You can't pinch an inch there, you really can't. And For 13 years, single mother of four Stephanie Headley has battled systemic scleroderma, a fatal autoimmune disorder slowly yeah, turning her skin and all, organs into stone. Skin. And all this staining up here is an example of hardened skin. On oxygen and constant pain medication, she's nearing death's door. But a knock on the door earlier this month may have saved her life. He's standing there in a newsboy cap pulled down and these, they're skiing sunglasses. They're very specific. You would not wear them day to day because they're very reflective and quite large. And a spring jacket done right up to the top. A man who wished to remain anonymous handed her an envelope. Inside, a bank draft for $128,000, enough to pay for a revolutionary stem cell treatment only available in the U.S. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was seeing the digits wrong. I kept reading and reading it. Finally, when I realized, I started crying and yelling and, and thanking God and collapsed on the floor. Just like that, the angel donor disappeared, leaving behind the hope of a cure. But he went to such lengths to remain anonymous, I don't think I'll ever know who he is. Stephanie had been trying to raise the money online, inspired by a woman in London, Ontario, with the same disease, <laughs> who got the treatment last summer. But with only $13,000 pledged, the Headleys were losing hope. Now they can put that towards Stephanie's expenses in Chicago, where the treatment takes place. Somebody gave me my life back. Somebody gave my children their mother back and saved our family. With an 80% success rate, Stephanie knows she may not survive the invasive procedure. But if she does, a total stranger has given her her new life's purpose. I'm giving such hope to everybody out there who is hoping and praying and waiting for their miracle, that it can happen to them too, that I'm no more special than they are to hold on, to keep the faith. Because hope is the one thing she can bank on now. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.